So, I was quiet yesterday, and I didn't want to be. Mostly because I did a live show with some folks, and um, come to find out later that the video uh, was taken down by the host because he felt the need to edit out misinformation. So, you know, make of that what you will. But um, basically, it was over two hours of content, and I wanted to tweet out a link um, and let you all know about that because, you know, I think that pretty much satisfies the two-video-a-day promise I made, uh, giving people two hours of content. Um, you know, but I couldn't do that. So, uh, apologies for the people who wanted to see my ugly mug yesterday. Um, but, fortunately, um, or maybe unfortunately, who knows, we'll see, I <laughs> obtained a copy of it um, from Facebook, which apparently the uploader thought would be totally fine, because Facebook never misflags people for misinformation, and totally isn't partially influenced by the Atlantic Council with their moderation policies. And I totally didn't write an article called um, Facebook is not a private company about their government to Facebook pipeline and their CIA connections and their pro-government, pro-NATO, military intelligence industrial complex affiliated content moderation team. I totally didn't uh, put out a thing about how the um, military industrial complex is directly connected to the original funding sources through Peter Thiel, Greylock Partners, and um, InQtel, right? Uh, Facebook is totally a fine place to have your content, but apparently YouTube isn't for some reason, even though they're basically the same people with the same content moderation policies, teams, and funding. But... I digress. The point is that um, I uh, <laughs> I have this copy, and um, I'm not going to link to a Facebook thing. If they put back up the YouTube video, um, then, you know, I'll link to that. That's the plan. But right now I can't even link to a YouTube video because he said he would, like, take it down and then re-upload it. And uh, let's just say that that hasn't happened. It's still down. So, with the, all that in mind, um, i just gotten off my workout, um, and I decided to jump on this thing that, uh, <laughs> that, uh, that had been planned in advance, uh, with a bunch of food for my post-workout gains, bruh, and, uh, fucking 500 milligrams of caffeine coursing through my veins, so I kind of went Alex Jones mode and got shouty about the subject. So I figure I'll, uh, I'll upload this and uh, y'all can decide uh, whether or not uh, you want to see more of this. Um, and you can also uh, tell me uh, how off base I was or if I smashed. Um, but basically I figure it's, it, it's like good for the public record anyway. And I think it was an interesting conversation, which is why I had it and why it should be on YouTube. Um, I don't do this whole thing of, like, censorship. And part of the thing is that, like, I'm sponsored by people. You know, I, I'm, I'm, this, this particular thing is brought to you by Brushfire2048, uh, the sequel to a book from a guy who has been supporting my content for quite some time now. Um, and it's about the, like, technocratic dystopia that's coming, uh, but it's a fiction book. It's sort of like, you know, 1948 kind of style. I think that's why it's called 2048. It's sort of like an updated version. Um, you know, and um, it's also brought to you by Liberty Professionals, who will help you secure your home, small business, and life. Uh, he can do private security consulting from Texas, and he's also an ACES board certified uh private investigator uh, with years of experience. Uh, used to be in Virginia, now he's in Texas, and uh, he's still doing what he does. Uh, so feel free to hit him up in the description to get your remote security consultation today. Um, and 
It's also uh, supported by PreSearch through Agris Nexus, free, uh, decentralized, and uh, privacy-forward search engine um, that lets you earn cryptos for searching um, with no cookies, the top providers or PreSearch's own in-house search engine. So basically all of that shit means that I don't have to censor myself. And if YouTube takes down anything I put up, it's already backed up to Odyssey on the blockchain where you can see what I post. That's what real like libertarian activism is. It's saying what needs to be said, where it needs to be said. And, you know, if if the system decides to censor you, man, you put it places where it can't be censored as well. You diversify your portfolio and have plenty of different locations. So this video uh, will be on Odyssey. And then if, uh, if this video gets taken down, I can always just post the full conversation to Odyssey. You know, I can do that because I'm anti-censorship and because I don't like the tyranny that's coming. So without further ado, uh, here is a short yelling match about CBDC. You can tell me what you think about that in the comments. And uh, don't forget, it's time to smash the fucking state. People have tried globalism. It's, globalism has been working. No, I don't know about working. It depends on how you define working, but it definitely I mean, has. It definitely I mean, fulfilling its intended broken. purpose. Yes, but not its fully intended purpose. Uh, like no, it's fully intended purpose. It's fulfilling. Yeah, I know, but over time, right now, there's so many things that the globalists and elite people w want us to do. They want us to be more locked down. I mean, just look at China and the United States, for example. Obviously, we can objectively say China is was way more restrictive with COVID, but we still locked down. Certain states didn't, certain cities didn't, but uh, the vast majority of the United States still locked its citizens down. And it again, it wasn't as hardcore as in China when they were giving people their food through a little... Um, port because their, they had the ability to turn off people's finances, and now exactly. they can do that with CBDC. Yeah. And we're not there yet, but well, we're, we're there. We're, we're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. We are getting. We're we are getting a pilot program for CBDC yep. in we're New York not. right yes. now. I know yes. that, but that's You're okay. Wrong. I get that. You're wrong. That's just, own it's guns. just one place. Own guns. No, it's own guns. no it's, it's, it's it's literally a pilot program. It's literally the, a pilot program for the entire like program because the yeah, New York I, uh, I the, the, New, the, the New York FinTech Innovation Lab was the one working with uh, Accenture to build Bedcoin to start with. That was yeah. what was the digital dollar project was. So yeah, now we at this. The so now the thing that's that was going to start it all off is now doing a pilot program. It's literally the whole country's it's not thing. Work. So and it's, that, already that's, working. That's, it's already working. I get working it. It's in me. it's in um, operation now, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be successful. And also, there's all different. It's going to be successful. Hundreds of different there's cryptocurrencies no. out there on decentralized exchanges that can and? offset this stuff. So I'm saying, even offset if you have how? the CBDC in New York City, even if you have the CB, CBDC, right? Even if it goes fully operational, not just being tried, it's, but it's, and, it's every City. bank, every single bank in New York City. Adopts it's it, not just right? New York City. It's New York okay, in general. Okay, I know. I'm just saying. Yeah, New York. Fine. The whole state of New York. The right? New York Fed. So, okay, and they they pull, roll it out fully, um, and every bank's forced to you know mandate it or whatever, or at least take part in it. There's still thousands of decentralized crypto exchanges right now that all and you Binance need is, is a phone. on the CCP. That doesn't mean that I'm you're going to get... I'm not talking about Binance. Binance is We're not a decentralized about exchange. We're okay, talking about crypto currency. Yeah. We'll use Pancake Swap. Pancake Swap uh, is, yeah. yes. The point is the centralized and? exchanges, i.e. Coinbase, i.e. FTX, i.e. Binance, they're all very fraudulent and they're running Ponzi schemes. And everyone in crypto saw this right away. Anyone who knew anything about crypto knows that you invest in a decentralized exchange. FTX but either way, you're not in, you're not investing in an exchange if it's decentralized. That's not how investment works. So, you can stay I know, I know that you're not investing in the exchange at all. You're point. investing. Well, you in just said you invest in an exchange that's decentralized. So you really shouldn't say that if you don't mean. I, it. What What did you say? You said just now that you, you should invest in decentralized exchanges. I, I no, I, I I'm yes, yes but not not in the sense that they're public companies. 
not in the sense that you can actually invest in the companies. You use the company's technology to then invest in yourself by using the decentralized technology to protect okay, so you your finances away from you CBDC. Not invest in the exchange. Well, I'm, I didn't said. mean invest like put money in there, but yeah, and invest your time, <laughs> put your stuff, put all of your, your money, or if you have crypto and other exchanges that are centralized, put it into the decentralized exchanges because they're, um, they're a lot different than the centralized exchanges and they, okay. the, the same malevolence so, can't be done there and it will protect your you money the in CBDC. There. How do you put your money in there if it's run from a CBDC and they know that you put it in there? Okay, so what you're saying is essentially that in New York State you know. or in any state that they're somehow some way going to not only implement CBDC, not only voluntarily allow it, they're going to just force it to every citizen and every citizen with full technological capabilities is somehow not That's going to be able what happened in China. Is, I know, but they gave up a lot of their control yeah. and they gave up their entire foundation of their internet. Like that's where yeah. they went wrong. Oh, we haven't yet. Well, but they can still question. access cryptocurrency. They just need to match their ports and use like- Yes, uh, like again, yes right. absolutely. Right. Especially um, with these centralized exchanges. I agree with you. Well, yeah, and so some people, some people will do that and some people will use crypto to get around CBDC. Yeah. Um, I think that eventually that will kill CBDC. That being said, <laughs> in the, in the short term, in, in the short term, yeah, the average, the average person is just going to accept this. Like no, they, they don't, they know, want they stimmy. Don't know yes, they will. They want fucking stimmy money, man. The average person accepts stimmy money. money already. <laughs> I that's can give true. them the they're gonna do it again. They're going to do it again. Different, though, don't you think? Okay, if no, New York State starts offering do it again free money for FedCoin. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I agree with you. If people are they're like, if, like if they're going to offer people thousands of dollars in FedCoin, they're definitely going to take it without a doubt. No, yes, but wait, if you work in Nigeria, Nigeria loves cryptocurrency. I know because yeah. I did cryptocurrency. For, I, okay, I've done cryptocurrency presentations a lot. There were people from third world countries because their dollar is so devalued because it's not the world reserve currency who would come on on Zoom and I would talk to them and say, hey, here's the potential of this. Some of them the IMF so was awesome. writing articles on Nigeria's CBDC a year ago. But it didn't work in Nigeria, and I know. It's my already boy, worked. Adam, Adam N. Williams, who's an agorist, he told, he's not for me voting or anything. That's my boy. Yeah. Told me it didn't work in Nigeria. I believe it's him. It's still I there. It's worked. Well, no, it, it being there no, doesn't no, mean it. It depends the, on really how fact, you define work. How, the so fact work, that it exists doesn't does it mean that anyone exactly, exactly. exactly. Oh wow! So, so, so real quick, quick, real quick, guys, the fact guys. That it's still there means that it's not working. No, no, that's yes. not that's not true. Listen, exists, listen, real quick. Mean it's efficient. It's Thank literally God. working right now. So, Jeremy, why don't we do this? Uh, let's ha have you define what you mean by work, like exactly what you mean, and then after that. Because I mean that it's course. a central way to control currency and that it's been rolled out and successfully been working for over a year now. What, okay, what do you mean by working? Like, um, if you roll something out and it completely fails, does that mean that it's working? <laughs> it didn't completely fucking fail if it's there right now. No, so if something's it's there on the market, that means it's no, it completely successful. There's tons of products on the market. There's tons of products on the market that fail all day. They're still there. They're still losing money. No, no they still... that's not how failed products work. Yes. Right, no, if a work. product there are fails, tons of companies. Not on the fucking market. No, that is actually that's not yeah, true. It is. Tons it of is. companies have have terrible products on the market right now, and it because mean they failed. Exactly it on the market. Yes, exactly. If they didn't uh, fail. To the eyes, Okay, so you're saying a, a product that no one buys or very little people Not buy the company no one that buying makes... if it's on the market. So you're people saying a product on the market is a product on the market or not has to get like I don't understand what you're saying. Is there's products on the market or fucking not. Wait, wait, people can behave you... rationally. Can I can I can you chill out for like 10 seconds? Like here, just just pop an Adderall or a beer or whatever. Look. Adderall is meth. That's probably not a good idea. That's yeah. Okay. That's the opposite of what he needs right now. All right. I, 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 need I see what you're saying. Jeremy. But if it's on the market, it hasn't fucking failed. Things okay. that are on the market are still competing. That's how markets. Work. Okay. Yes, okay. Exactly. Okay. So it's still yes. it's still competing. Yes. But it's not. Yes. It hasn't been. It's not fully successful. Yeah. Not. It's, it's not it's like not everyone has, has one in their home dominant. just preparing for product. Year after year, it hasn't failed. 
Okay, I'm not saying that it failed. I never said that it failed. You did say it failed. No, I never did. I said can, I'm comparing it to the product. Back and we can see where you said it failed. I never said it failed. You said I, it I failed. said the product failed. Yes, I was making a comparison failed. saying I, I never said that. I'm just trying to work out the definition of work. But I, I get it. It's on the market. Year. It's still there. It's still being used. But by how many people? Oh my fucking god, the whole fucking country, because if a country's currency collapses, it does too! Okay. Can I Jesus share? Christ! Okay. Can I share? Can you... Here. Chill out. Can I share an article? Go sure. for it! Okay. I think this is a reputable source. You can disagree with me or not. Um, am I able to share, Dan? Danny, what the hell is your camera pointing at? His dirty keyboard. Okay. Um, all right. So Whoa. this is Bitcoin.com. I think they're a pretty good source. I'm going to really just get this um, real quick. Apathetic. Nigerian lenders are frustrating the Ineras, which is their CBDC version adoption, because they're worried this could deprive them of a key revenue resource. And the central bank of Nigeria, the CBN governor, has said that the central bank is working on a channel, but they have lender apathy after describing lenders' unwillingness to promote the central bank digital currency. CBDC is an apathy. The lenders. Reveal. Not all of them. Just the ones they're talking about. Currency. And just the ones that were already invested in the like alternative mobile banking system but only you're 700 not, you're not including no. fucking context yo you're literally ignoring no, okay. the first paragraph can you okay here's the thing that i looked at seven hundred thousand, because i read this before wallets have been downloaded if we look at nigeria's population <laughs> seven hundred thousand wallets have been downloaded there's 211.4 million would you consider that a success, 700? Okay, shoot me this article because I'm going to show you where you're wrong. All right. Oh, yes. But I, I would agree with you that they're on the market and they're out there competing. That's, I would fully agree with you on that. I'm not like Whether, a financial director, but or analyst. Yeah. I look at stuff and I understand it from a technical perspective. And I said there's 700,000 wallets been downloaded in Nigeria. There's 211 point. Uh, I think 4 million people there. According to CBN, since launching the digital currency in Q4 of 2021, only 700 eNairo wallets have been downloaded. Correct. Part of the reason for this is the fact that only account holders can open an eNairo wallet. So then you have to look at how many account holders already fucking existed. And there weren't that goddamn many because it wasn't that prosperous a country. It was already a developing nation and that's why the Inaira worked so fucking well. I don't think it worked well. If, still. <laughs> if most of the people who have the accounts have the wallet, then it worked. Because it's already out-competing the existing currency and already outmoding it to be the new standard. It is? Is that true? That the, the, the uh, um, centralized currency Jesus is Christ. completely dominating... Um, well, if, I don't know if that's if you have if you have two fiat currencies like an old one that's been discarded by the central yeah. bank and a new one that's been adopted by the central bank. Yeah, the new one is obviously going to win. Like and it did in use. Yeah. So it did win in Nigeria is what you're saying. essentially. Yes. And that article fucking admits it. It just says that people who wanted to compete with that structure don't have confidence in it. Yeah, I don't have confidence in the CBDC either. I fucking hate it. Yeah. That doesn't mean it's not going to win. Holy shit. I see what you're saying. Well, we I wonder, I, I wonder if facts we can, aren't on your side, Kareem. I wonder if we can't find out. Like, I'm, on side. I'm not too familiar with um, Nigeria's government, but how much of that was like, do this or you're going to go to jail? Like, how much of that was coerced versus <laughs> how much was that threatened awesome. with violence? You know what I mean? It doesn't matter to my point. Because my point is that if that's the case, then they coerced its success. Central planning gets people intimidated into compliance. That's what China is doing right now, yes, is resisting absolutely. the compliance into which they have been... No, it hasn't fucking failed. 
They're deploying they riot vehicles right they fucking will. now, they arresting will. protesters, and they've been doing this for years. They had similar protests at the beginning of the fucking pandemic. Totalitarian yo. regimes always fail. Totalitarian regimes. Uh, <laughs> what, what I think yeah, what, okay. what, awesome. Jeremy's, what, what Jeremy's saying right now is essentially that they haven't, you know, completed all of their goals. They haven't gone fully operational, but they're on the way there, and they've been doing it for a very long time. And the Chinese Communist Party, I don't know about the Nigeria circumstance, so. I don't know the government. I don't know how tyrannical it is versus how many people use that currency versus decentralized. I don't. I know there's a crypto market there, but other than that, I you know I don't know much about it. But with the CCP, this government over the last 50 years has essentially taken complete control of almost every aspect of the society, and the biggest one is the internet and technology, right? And the fact that every company that exists in China is at the behest of the state, meaning that. If a company wants to do something, it might be allowed to do it, but if a company wants to do something that in any way is political or politically threatening to the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party will immediately shut that down. So they have a tight lock on dissent there. And I think what we're seeing now in China, it's hard for me to believe that this is going to lead to like, you know, some total uprising. It's just because they're, they've already, in my opinion, maintained so much control. They have, they have control of too many different sectors. To, to be beaten, even if they're beaten, like let's just say there's a mass protest, uh, uh, let's say 100 million people, all the people of the CCP get killed. Even then, there's still this online virtual sort of lockdown going on there. And I don't know how you really break out of that. All right. Don't. Listen, Mr. Sonic Frontiers, I refuse to lose to retards like Klaus Schwab and you. He's not a Harari. retard if he's, he's doing better at manipulating the world than fucking you are. You're a retard compared to him by that standard. I, you know what? I'll defeat him through decentralization eventually. Because okay, I, but don't call him a retard because underestimating your opponent is the real yeah, retarded bullshit. I definitely don't think he's Jesus a retard. Fucking Christ! He's, he's, okay, he's, he's a highly intelligent. Whatever you want to call him, he's not a yeah. good person. He's evil. He's I don't get. Here's the thing: I don't get you, my boy Justin, who's cool. Uh, Adam and and everybody else, Larkin Rose is like, okay, don't vote, don't like, you know, okay, you know, I was at the polls, I was working, I was telling people to vote gold. That that's not that's not a great method uh, in the agorist you, handbook. You can do vote. that if you want. I don't fucking care. I just think it's but, a mistake. But what about? But what about? Okay, fine. If we're not gonna vote, the only other thing I can think of is to protest. And yes. Also really no, actually, I'm just gonna say. And I don't mean anything by this, you know, for all the agents watching this stream. I don't mean anything by this, but hibiscus flowers are pretty. <laughs> well, listen, That's I pretty. think, Kareem, what, what I think you're getting at is that it's clear that the Chinese people, the, the people of China, have the numbers game. They have that advantage. Yes. Right. They, they have that advantage. BCC, if CCP, like if they're unified, I think if the if the Chinese people are unified, I think they can pretty easily. And I'm just saying, hypothetically, if there was a protest, hypothetically, and there was violence, not that we want that, not that we want to encourage that, but if that were to happen, I think there's a strong possibility they could pretty much overtake 